a simple kind of goofy manifestation technique but it actually works okay so if you are a business owner entrepreneur and you feel as though your business is lacking customers and or clients this technique is definitely something that you want to try so i learned about this technique um from one of my virtual mentors and when i first heard it i thought it was so funny and so ridiculous that I was like, ooh, I'm gonna try that, right? Because some of the most outlandish things um, actually really do work. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. There's two steps to this process, right? You gotta stay with me. I know it's, it's gonna sound crazy, but you gotta stay here. We're here. All these airplanes. Okay, so number one is you wanna get you some file folders. I have mine right here my little handy dandy um, thing that I got from Target that holds my file folders. You want to get some cute ones. Some that you, you know, wouldn't mind looking at every single day. Mine are pink and gray and white. I just, it doesn't matter. Okay, that has nothing to do with anything. Um, and the first thing that you want to do is write what it is that you want on the folder. So mine says high paying client number one, and I have a few more up here. If you want more customers, you can use the word customer instead of client, okay? You can write returning client, not client, returning customer or um, reoccurring customer, something like that. That's step number one is you write what it is that you want, client, customer, whatever. Then, for the sake of this video, I've taken out the the paperwork but then you want to do whatever it takes whatever you want to perform whatever your client intake process is and you want to print out all of those documents and you want to sign them in your customer or clients name and you want to put them here in the folder why because number one it gives you that practice that you need and I have a video here that's probably two or three years old on my channel, you gotta scroll way back. And it's called the missing P to manifestation, okay? And the P is preparation. Oftentimes we pray and ask for a thing, but we never prepare for it. And then we wonder why we never get it, right? It's because you never prepared for it. So, and even if you did manifest the clients, the, uh, the influx of clients or customers, how would you handle it? You haven't practiced. So if you had all of these clients that came to you that said, okay, I wanna hire you as my coach or as my consultant, or I want to place an order for 100 of your I Am Manifestation journals, okay? I wanna place an order of 100 and you're like, whoa, what the heck, right? And then you don't know what to do because you haven't really prepared for that particular scenario. So you want to do all of the intake forms, do everything that you would do if it were an actual client, okay? And then every morning, a part of your morning uh, ritual, I am going to be recording my uh, morning money ritual really, really soon. But you definitely want to have that, especially if you are a full-time entrepreneur. And you want to come to your desk and you want to look through those client intake forms every single day, right? You got to watch your money. You got to look at your money every day. And you want to do whatever the work is that you would have to naturally do if this were a real client. Okay. Step number two. That was kind of multi-step number one. Okay, but step number two in this process, let me find it. Step number two in this process, this is my I Am Manifestation Journal, um, but I actually draw stick figures. Can you see that? I actually draw stick figures that represent um, clients. And they all have a name, and I talk to them every single day. I know this sounds really, really corny, 
I get it, I understand. But it's what I do, right? And it totally makes sense. So all of these people, I pray for them on a daily basis. I call them by name. I speak over their lives. I speak over their mindsets and I call them forth, right? I attract them into my vortex, if you will, and into my business so that they can find a video of mine or land on one of my posts on Instagram Explore page or whatever, but they find me in some way, they relate to me in many ways, and then they decide that they want to hire me as their coach, or they decide that they want to order my manifestation journal or some of my apparel, like whatever it is, I pray for these people every single day and attract them into my life. And really, really important, is that you're actually doing the work. You're doing the work. You're sharpening your skills. You're reading those books. You're taking the classes. You're hiring a coach yourself. Whatever it is that it takes or whatever it is that is necessary for you to be the best, insert your position here, right, for that customer or for that client, you need to be doing every day. You need to do that as if, as if it is your full-time job because if you don't have customers or you don't have clients in your business, you have a, a whole lot of time on your hands and you need to be studying and sharpening your craft, your skills on a daily basis, right? If you don't have customers and clients in your business, it may be because you're not ready. It may be because you are not ready. So spend that time to get ready. And that's not at all where I wanted to go with this video. But that's that's real talk. Okay, and here on the other side of the page, this is an affirmation that I say that I'm not going to read. Um, um, in regards to a course that I have coming out um, this year. But yeah, draw your stick figures. Okay, draw them out give them names, pray for them every single day, call them forth into your vortex, um, create your client folders, okay? Put your intake forms in here, fill them out, put them in here, put them up there and look through them every single day. Let me check on how my client is doing. Like you really have to go back to childhood and using your visualization, imagination, muscle, that I just talked about on a video that I just recorded, but you gotta learn how to use that and, and use it every single day to bring in these clients and customers. And if you do this and you're still like, well, nobody's coming, people still aren't signing up for whatever. They're still not buying my clothes, they're still not buying my books or, or whatever the case may be, then you need to sharpen your skills. Uh, take some marketing classes. Um, you know, I like to say that the creation part, um, me creating this journal, uh, the other books that I have coming, uh, the courses, the classes, creating my YouTube videos, all of that is easy. That's the easy part because I'm not a natural born creator. I am a natural born creator. So it's easy for me to create. I have ideas like going on in my head right now like that's the easy part the more challenging part is the actual marketing okay so you might have the skill you know you have the degree you have the life experience um you have all the systems and processes in place all your graphics are, are bomb.com because you invested in those and you've done all this other stuff and you're like i still you still don't have the clients or you don't have the customer base, then maybe it's your marketing. And that's a whole nother monster, right? The marketing is the hard part, the more challenging part, okay? Sometimes it can be hard, but the marketing piece is a huge piece to create to creation, right? So maybe if you've done all the other stuff, you have all the I's dotted and T's crossed, maybe marketing is something that you need to invest a little bit more in, um, learn how to do it effectively because that marketing piece is vitally important as well. So in my videos, just in case you're the first time here, 
I like to mix a little bit of the woo woo law of attraction manifestation in there with some real life practical advice. Okay, so the woo woo is creating your file folders, even though you don't have any clients or customers yet. Um, drawing stick figures and giving them names and praying for them every single day and just you know attracting them into your vortex like that's the woo woo part and then the practical big sister part is maybe your marketing sucks I mean right maybe you haven't maybe people just don't want what you have and it's not that it's not good but maybe you have to repackage it or maybe you need to add to it and take something away. Maybe you just need to tweak it a little bit. And and maybe you're not in front of the right audience, you know? Maybe you're just in front of the people, the audience of people who just want all the free, free, free. Okay? Maybe you haven't found the pool of people who are willing to pay you. Oh, that was good. Maybe you haven't found the pool of people who are willing to pay you. You know, every I speak to my own self sometimes. That was good. I hope you just caught that. Okay. So anyway, I'm just gonna end it right there because I feel the vent coming on, right? And I don't want to turn this into like a rant video about creation and marketing and maybe anyway, we're not even gonna go there. So hopefully you really enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you did. Please also let me know if you're going to try this or if you have tried this before um, or any other tips that you have that work for you. Please put them down below and maybe that will be of help to me or someone else who is watching and scrolling through the comments right now and not even really paying attention to me. I know how y'all do because I do the same thing. All right. Kendra Chanel here signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all will see me in the next one.